Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to Hogwarts Legacy. Last episode, we did uh, the Sebastian quest where we went to Feldcroft. Uh, we missed a lot of shit on the way. I got a few things, but missed a lot. So this episode will be dedicated to like side questing again. So if you want to skip it, I understand. Let's check our quest now. Is uh, We got the high keep. An astronomy class, which is going to be interesting. But this popped up a minute ago. In the shadow of the bloodline, Sebastian and Ominous are arguing. So I want to definitely see what that's going on. So first we'll do that, then we'll do some side activities. First, let's get our challenges done once again. I think I unlocked something new. There we go. Now that robe looks horrible. <laughs> yeah, there. Yep. Got a lot of stuff. Wow. Uh, I think I got stuff in Quest 2. That mask is kind of cool. Exploration. Oh, wow. Plus. Ooh, more ancient magic capacity. Nah, that's nice. That outfit looks funny. <laughs> okay. So. I think that's it. Alright. Well. Let's go see what's going on with the rose. Alright. Here we are in the Great Hall. So. What just happened a second ago was. I was recording. And the audio didn't pick up. So now it's daytime. And. I took screenshots of this sick ass skyline with the uh, with like the pumpkins at night. It looked really good. So sorry about that. And also I got this door. I unlocked it. And I got a little bit of loot from it. And that's it. And then also I saw a little key flying around, but I don't know where it went. And also Sorry Lance. Yeah, I don't know where that key went. Oh, well. Oh, yeah, I also unlocked this door. And I got a demigod's moon that was sitting right here. Lumos. Sorry about that. Shit happens, you know. <laughs> I made it this far. Well, where did you all come from? Okay, I need to take off the nightcap. Now it's not night anymore. <laughs> there we go. And also, I tried to depulso all these plates, but apparently there's like an anti-magic barrier. And I got a field guide page, which was just talking about like the the ceiling, how it reflects the sky. And also, there's one here that I missed. What's this say? Al Lectern. This enchanted lectern serves as a spot from which the grand, great, not a grand, great head mistresses. And headmasters of Hogwarts, as well as Professor Black, address the school. Hmm. Oh shit, I missed this little chest too. Nice. And I got some, I got a new outfit from those. If you want to see it, here is what it looks like. It's this one. Yeah, kind of, kind of fancy, am I right? So I'll definitely wear that when I'm outside of Hogwarts. I think that would fit Hogsmeade well. But for now, I'm going to wear my school, my one of the like school clothes. I like wearing them in Hogwarts. It feels good. <laughs> All right. Well, let's go talk to Ominous Sebastian. Also, I have the HUD off. I just thought it'd be more immersive when talking to people. But I'll try my best. There's no toggle HUD button. I wish there was. That's the one thing I wish that would add to this game. Screw DLC, anything. Toggle HUD, please. Oh. Oh my god, magic. I swear. Alright. Anything to do with the dark heart should be avoided. It's too risky. Anything to do with Salazar Slytherin is worth the risk. I can't do this. And I'll not say a word more. I'm sorry. I won't give up.
Man. What were you and Ominous speaking about? He's being ridiculous. Apparently Spell? Salazar Slytherin had a secret scriptorium <laughs> here in Hogwarts. Ominous swears it was used for the Dark Arts, so he wants nothing to do with it. I reminded him that Anne needs a cure. This scriptorium could hold the answers we need. Did someone say the Dark Arts? The Dark Arts do pique my interest. There's more to dark magic than people realize. The Gaunts know this better than most. Perhaps I've spoken out of turn. Ominous's family history is personal to him. Yeah, the Garn family is very, very, very nice. Like, not nice, but like, they got some heavy lore to them. There's a certain fellow that is a descendant. <laughs> if you know, you know. I can't say his name. It's he would not be named. I'd like to know more about it, if you wouldn't mind telling me. I won't repeat it. Yeah, I want to learn well. more. But do keep this between us. Ominous learned dark magic from his parents. Are you familiar with the Cruciatus Curse? I sure am. Crucio, correct? The Cruciatus Curse, also known as the Torture Curse, inflicts excruciating pain on the victim. Apparently, his parents and older siblings had no qualms about casting it on muggles for sport. Ominous described the sound of the victim's cries as horrific, so the first time he was asked to cast it himself as a child, he couldn't bring himself to do it. As punishment, his family cast it on him. The anguish was so bad that when asked to cast it again, he relented. I have repeatedly assured Ominous that he did what he had to, but he still hasn't forgiven himself. Yikes. Yeah, he definitely had no choice. Like, I mean, fucked up family. <laughs> How horrible. Poor Ominous. He was only a child. He shouldn't blame Please. himself. After that incident, the rift between Ominous and his family only grew. That is until I came along. Every moment he isn't at Hogwarts, he's with us in Feldcroft. Ominous trusts me. And more often than not, he winds up listening to me. I'll remind him of that when I follow up about the scriptorium. Watch for my owl. I'll have news soon enough. I'll make Ominous understand. He'll change his mind. All right, yeah. Yeah, the Gaunt family is... I've always said that oh my god, I'm trying to speak. It's a little bit crazy. <laughs> as you can tell. What's up? You could do better than that. Huh? Lumos. Akio. Glacius. Is she like... Arresto momentum or what the fuck? <laughs> okay, well. Rebellion. So, well, this sucks. Okay, so this is my plan for this episode. I was going to do that, then do some side quests. Oh, speaking of cab, there's a side, there's a cabinet for the key. What I was saying was I was planning to do side quests. I was going to get some uh, demi guys moons, you know. But I didn't because now it's daytime because I failed the recording. <laughs> so, and I kind of wish it wasn't daytime because at nighttime it would have been kind of more like sneaky talking to them in the great hall. Let's get this. First try, baby. Fuck. <laughs> Shit. All right, second try. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn it. Third time's the charm. That's what they always say, you know. Come on. Yeah! Third time's a charm! I'm getting a lot of those uh, house tokens. I definitely need to go and put them in. Ooh. Aloha, Mora. Free loot. Let me take... I'll take that. <laughs> nice. Oh, that's cool. See, like... A little more of a mini game isn't that bad. But I bet it gets tedious. Oh shit, I got my HUD off, so I don't know what I got. <laughs> uh Ooh. Ooh. Nice. But let's see. 
Is that the I think that's one they wear. I wanna wear what like all the bros wear. Well, let's put on like actually I'll keep this robe on for this episode. Alright, let me change the hood, my bad. See, I remember the first episode I had the mini map off. You guys remember that? <laughs> I had the mini map off. I I'm still torn. I kind of want to go like play without mini map for nostalgia. Or not nostalgia for like immersion. But where is my first? Ooh, I'll take that. Ooh, that hat looks cool. Where's my first playthrough? I kind of want to like have the mini map just to find stuff easier. Like you saw how long it took me to do one puzzle. Imagine how worse that'd be at. <laughs> with no mini map. <laughs> Let's just keep exploring heart. Wish crack. Hello, Very key, much. come back. Come back. There's a confringo thing over there, I'll come back. Now nah, this looks so good. Alright, first try this time, I believe. Ooh, like a glove. Another house token down. And then over here, nice hat. Confringo, I think, right? Glacius. Arrest the momentum. No, that's Glacius. I have Confringo on. I do. Confringo. Yeah. Wait. I can I don't even need Accio, do I? Do it. Wait. Accio. Hey. I love Accio. I think Accio is my favorite spell. Other than a pug no. Which I I think Ancient Magic Throw is a pug no. I remember someone saying the files. It's a pug no. Ooh, is that a Selkie? I think that's a Selkie. A pug no, if you didn't know, is a spell where uh you attract inanimate objects like that scene. Well I guess you can attract animate objects too, I guess. I don't really know. I don't really know how, how it works all the way, but like, from one of the scenes in like the movie and scene, what'd you call the scene in a book? I don't know. Where Hermione attacks, ooh, Levioso, okay. Do I have Levioso? Yeah, I do. Levioso. Nice. Another page, let's go. That's 16 out of 50, that's a lot. Uh, that one scene in, uh, where all the, Pages five, they're hairy. That was cool. And the bird, that scene was cool. I like, it's like telekinesis, but I love stuff with telekinesis. Rebellion. Can I fly in here, I wonder? Ooh, I can. Ooh, now this. Let's go. Oh, this is, oh my God. This is what I dreamed of doing, like. In a Harry Potter game is like flying around the what the hell was that? Hold on, I'm getting sidetracked. Oh, is that the Slytherin common room? But I dream to like flying around Hogwarts like this. God, I love it. Look at all the people chilling. Sorry, the fans are getting quite loud, and I apologize. Alright, let's see our quest book. Sorry it took so long to look at it, but <laughs> Well, I love that in the intro, but yeah. Uh, we're doing side quests this episode, so Adelaide Oaks. How about the map? Let's check the map real quick. I think I might explore Hogwarts mainly. So we got 62 out of 150 field guide pages, 10 out of 35 chests, 0 out of 1 astronomy tables, 2 out of 10 demiguide statues. Well, I'm lacking on the demiguide stuff. I need to get that leveled up quick. So I'm actually going to... Uh, Wait, let's check. Ah, it's not better. I'm actually going to advance time real quick. Let's put on a nightcap. <laughs> we gotta look the part. 
I think I have the land. I don't think I can be in the air. So let's land a little quick. Oh, chest right there. Oops. Oh yeah, that's right. I was testing stuff out. Let me put that there. And then put that there. There we go. And yoink. I feel bad for those little chests, but hey, money's money. <laughs> okay, let's see if we can wait. I forget how you wait. Yeah. Let's advance the night. Okay. Ah, oh, look at that. All right, let's go find some Nimi guys. That's my goal right now. So, I will see you when I find one. It could be an hour from now in the recording wise, but lucky for people watching, you can see it right after. So, oh, Nimi Perfect. guys, where are you? Aha! That's outside. That's right beside us. Ooh, maybe it's in the bathroom here. Actually, let's go around and go get that. I think it's this way. Ooh! Good finger. Nice. Is that another? No, that's Accio, I think, right? Accio. No, I bet it's the Pulso. The Pulso. Aha! I knew it, dude. Ooh, secret Ooh, little person. room here. Hey, guys. Oh. And the moth. Who was this? Violet, if you get here before me, do us a favor and procure some more mead. <laughs> is, this the, is this like a secret drinking spot? It would be pretty hidden, wouldn't it? Oh, that's where the fat lady was. Okay, that's like right outside the door, and where's that Nimi guy statue? That's like down there. Okay. Lumos. I think it's like, yeah, right here. I should tell. Certainly suits you. Oh, what? Get me away from that thing. That's creepy. <laughs> what the hell? Hell no. Nah. Where am I going? All right, here we go, Bop. Yeah! Rebellio. Another field god page down. Let's go. Yeah, let's go get that Demi guy statue. If I can find a way to it. You know, it sure would be convenient if there was a spell that could go through, make you walk through walls. Because I cannot find this thing. I've been looking. I can't find it. It's like, let's see. Wait, 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 wait. Oh my God. Is that what I think it is? Is that the Oblivion horse armor? Rebellion. It's like, it's like right there. But how do I get there? <laughs> Cause on my, like I went outside right there is nothing. Ooh. Ooh, I know. Their secret passage way. Aha! I knew oh, no, it. Me, guys. Oh, I didn't have the sneak for that one. What is this? In the bathroom? Like what? <laughs> That's three out of ten. I need ten. I need ten bad. Attention, fellow artists. Another performance. <laughs> That's so cool. Oh, the talking frog. Enter. Lumos. Oh, where the hell am I? Ooh, look all the wands. It's like a secret. Oh! Oh, now that's cool, isn't it? It's a little secret passageway. That's now nah, that's cool. Can I go back? Oh, is that peas in there? Lumos. Is there any like? Oh, I thought there. Oh, I've already been here. <laughs> oh. 
<laughs> it's still cool though. Let's go. Whoop. Here's a Depulso thing. Depulso. Oh wait, I've already been here. Okay. All right, this way then. Oh yeah, this is the faculty tower. Yeah, this is where I went sneaky neeking. He's still here, just chilling. <laughs> oh, cat. Yeah. Yes, I told you. You're very close. Oh, that's cool. How Invisible. Oh, here we are on the stairs. Oh, here's another door. Let's see. Okay. So, go. That's. It starts by zero. Zero, one, two. Or that's not a go. What's that called? Uh, it's a magical beast. Forget, forget the name of it. Oh, it's zero, isn't it? Since that's... I think. What's the other one? Oh, -ho! I didn't even see this. Yes. Yeah. First try. Another token. Let's go. I bet it's this way, isn't it? That will never not be trippy. Oh, look at this. What a ball like this. What? Don't be silly. It'll wear off in a few hours, I think. So, like, maybe it's way up here. Aha, it is. Or is this a different? No, that's it for this one. Okay, never mind. Let's go all the way down. Can I jump over the edge? Oh man. I wanted to fall to my death. Man. Maybe it's down here. Oh. Over here. Oh, there's a field guide page though. House point hourglasses. Oh yeah. These large or ornate Ornate, ornate hourglasses containing rubies, diamonds, sapphires, emeralds are enchanted to keep count of house points. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Now, uh, you know, in the years of Harry, you know, Gryffindors was freaking maxed. <laughs> Lumos. Because that man, Dumbledore, was biased, dude. I know where that is. Damn. Damn. Damn, dude! <laughs> Relatable when someone's being annoyed. Aha, right there. Oh, it's on the headmaster's chair. Where'd it go? I forgot. Right there. Nice ring. Repair I got you, buddy. No, he's dead. He's freaking dead. <laughs> Rip, dude. Okay, what's down here? Oh, there it is. I've never been here. Okay. I want someone to count how many times I say okay in this. Let's play. Three, four, five. It's a little crab looking thingy. Lumos. I wonder what the ma ooh. Revelio. What's this? The Hogwarts architect. Ooh. The Hogwarts Hogwarts architect shown here, surrounded by the four house mascots, designed and oversaw construction of Hogwarts Castle along science founder Rowena Ravenclaw, who is cre credited with creating its ever changing floor plan. I bet. I bet someone genius has to think of that. So that's the architect. Wow. Yeah, and it's all the mascots. Oh, that's so cool. Screenshot. Oh my god, Grey Lady, you ruined it. <laughs> now let's go back and get this. Bop, bop. A sad crab, man. This is basically the Exploring Hogwarts episode. <laughs> A Christmas tree! Hell yeah!
All right, let's go. Since I just now figured out here, let's go explore down here. That'll be something. Yeah, what's down these stairs? Ooh, candy. Or nuts. These nuts. Oh, I got them. Lumos. Ooh, what's this? Tickle the pear. Revelio. Oh, what is that? That sounds familiar. Pear portrait. If one tickles a pear and is still alive painting a bowl of fruit, it will giggle or turn into a doorknob. Yeah, the entry to the Hogwarts kitchens. Yeah, that's all right. That's where I remembered it from. Yeah. Tickle it. <laughs> Actually. Oh, yeah. There's the Hufflepuff uh, common room entrance. Yeah, one must tap the barrel two from the bottom, middle of the second row, in rhythm of Helga Hufflepuff. Yeah, it'll be denied access and douse vinegar. So, you see what happens if you're non Hufflepuff? This. <laughs> That's way better than freaking Ravenclaw. There's literally a pillow at the Ravenclaw common like room entrance. Pillows and blankets because people can't open the damn door because the damn riddle is too confusing. It's relatable. <laughs> Let's take a little pair. Oh my god, house elves. What's up? Hi guys. Look at all of them. Oh my god, he's beating his meat. Hey guys. Oh my me, let me just steal some of this. Ooh, look at all of them. I love ourselves. Look. Oh. <laughs> I would have a bunch of house elves. I wonder what's the limit. I would have a million. I'd have the biggest house elf army in the world. Look at them. Oh. They wouldn't be a slave, though, obviously. They'd be my friends. They cool. Is that how self magic sound? <laughs> Here we go. Kitchen tables. When Hogwarts house elves place prepared food on these tables, it's magically transferred to tables in a great hall directly above. Yeah, I've always thought about that. Like, they definitely use a, a spell or charm, whatever. To transport all the food, you know, because if you didn't know, there's one of the many like magic can do a lot, but one of the things magic cannot do, it's one of the laws, is create food out of thin air. You can summon food, but you cannot create it, because at that point you might as well be God, right? <laughs> like it'd be convenient though. Imagine them just sitting there like. You know, I want like a fucking like, I want a whole girl, a whole house full of like chicken wings and just magically make them. There would be no like food shortages. It'd be great. It'd be convenient. Oh, look how he's washing all of the plates. God, I wish I could do that IRL. <laughs> That's so cool, dude. Oh, look, the food. Yeah, they just made it. Can we watch it teleport? I want to watch it and see if it teleports. But what I was saying about not being able to make food out of thin air. What would, What's interesting, though, is like... I forget the limits. The limits. What the hell? Oh, God. Here we go again. The Soder episode number two. <laughs> uh... I forget the limits of Accio. I know, like, you have to say what you want to summon, so, like, our character's just, like, cheating. <laughs> and Accio doesn't work on human, like, on living beings. Even though a lot of scenes in the movies debate that, you know? But the, I've always heard, like, it doesn't. And also, uh, what else? Lumos. Oh, wait, what's that? 
Oh, it's a hog. <laughs> oh, this food looks delicious. Some bacon. Some chicken. Okay, back back on topic what I was saying. Uh, also, Accio, if you think about it, like, there must be a limit to stuff. I think there's a weight limit, if I remember right. My voice just cracked hard. That's fucking funny. I know there's a weight limit. Oh, look at all of them. There's more important things to talk about. Than... This is more important than talking. Look at them go. <laughs> look at them go. That's so great. Oh, uh, that should be the outro, just them doing that. That's so good. I'm getting a lot of screenshots, I love it. I love house elves. Sorry guys, I'm drinking and eating all the food in here. Alright, well I guess they don't teleport it. Or maybe they just don't. Maybe it's like, not time yet. I'm gonna actually leave. Okay, what I was saying was, is... There's a weight limit to Accio, I think, or else... Because, I mean, we in the game, we can't Accio, like, you for example... Oh my gosh, shut up. For example, a couple episodes, or I think it might have been last episode. The giant spiders, I try to Accio them, they don't move. So, like, doesn't work, obviously. But... Cat. Lumos. But like, uh, oh look, <laughs> I thought he was doing some freak shit with that cow, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, what else? Oh. I'm getting distracted, dude. <gasps> Fat lady, the Gryffindor common room. Rebellion. Fat lady portrait. The portrait guards are Gryffindor common room, requiring a password from me when we visit in there. She and her friend Violet are known to wander among the other portraits, periodically helping themselves with vats of wine. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, she's drunk as hell. You can just tell. What I was saying about Akio, though, is like, if do you need to see see it to summon it, or I don't know, cause like. You know how cool it would be just to be sitting there and then just be like, Accio McDonald's chicken sandwich. And then it just flies out of their store and flies all the way to you. Now that'd be awesome, wouldn't it? Or you're just sitting there, you say Accio, Accio Pepsi. <laughs> no, I wouldn't move a day of my life, dude. It's already daytime, sadly. Let's fast travel like to like a different end, like right here. Let's check out the green greenhouses. I haven't been there in a while. Oh, and then we got cl uh, class. <sighs> Sorry. I might do those later, though. Ooh, what's this? I haven't been up here. Oh, I forgot to take off my cap. It's not nighttime anymore, silly. Oh, yeah, over here at the central hall. Yeah. <gasps> House elf. No, I'll come back. Is that a prefect? A Don't mind me. If I get, if you try to get me in trouble, I'll have to learn to obliviate and use it. Sorry. There we go. Yep. Now what's in here? Oh, Levioso statue. Levioso. Oh, it just, it disappears. Huh. Nice. All right. Ooh, look at this with all the jack-o'-lanterns. That's so cool. Riding a horse? No. Riding a broom is better you fly. <laughs> no, ride a hippogriff, because technically it's like a flying horse. You know? With an eagle head. <laughs> I'm wondering, like... How to structure this, you know? Ooh. Is that, uh, uh, what's his name? I don't remember. The last time I have a potion idea that I don't write down, 
<laughs> I'm wondering if doing like Revelio. Damn it, Peeves. Get him sharp. Get him Professor Sharp. Mess him up. <laughs> oh my god, Bomba. So I was wondering like <laughs> whose bright idea was to have a polder guys in the school is what that student said. No, I think he he's been here for like forever. He's part of the school. You get Hogwarts, you get peeves. So like I was wondering like why do this puzzle horribly? I'm thinking about separating side questing to episodes like specific and because I count exploration and all that as side questing too. Like doing Merlin trials and stuff. I might do some of them. Like let's say like I travel to a certain part of the map. Oh, I'm in his office. Uh-oh. <laughs> see ya. I'm getting out of here. He doesn't know. He didn't see anything. Handy resource indeed. So like... I might separate them, I don't know. Revelio. I was thinking like keep the little things like Merlin Charles and stuff. I can mix them in with episodes. But like uh like actual side quests. I think I'll dedicate those to like their own episode. If I have time, I like if you might be able to help me with a small uh, Oh Duncan project. Urge defending Hogsmeade against Oh hey Earth. ominous. You know there is such a thing as trying too hard. <laughs> Awful when they ask you a question though, isn't it? Crummy little faces. Oh my god, it's die. Fable Gargoyle. If Hogwarts survives the reign of this headmaster, I think we should have a moon calf in charge. <laughs> <It's true. laughs> yeah. Hey Professor Hackett, how you doing? Revelio. Just one, just aimlessly exploring. Oh, what's she gotta say? Professor, what can you tell me about your work at the Ministry? Your curiosity is understandable. Well, although I can't speak in any detail of my work, I can tell you certain interesting facts. Unspeakables work in the Ministry's Department of Mysteries. Dangerous work at times, as you've no doubt guessed. Yes, Professor. Now, you needn't concern yourself with my injury. I made peace long ago with the fact that a sprig of Dittany, once plucked, will surely begin to wilt. Yeah, Unspeakables are so cool. I think Unspeakables are one of my favorites about the industry. They're not in the, Why'd I say industry? <laughs> The ministry, wrong word. And I wish we could hear more about them, but they are called unspeakables because they don't talk about them, so <laughs> makes sense. You do seem to have come to terms with things rather well. It's a matter of perspective. Without saying more, perhaps whatever time I've lost was an exchange for time gained. And to dwell on such matters is a waste of the days ahead. At this point... No magic permits us to travel back in time. Perhaps one day. Yes, I can tell you that my years at the Ministry were well spent. And I'm as happy to be at Hogwarts now as I was to be in the Department of Mysteries years ago. If I may, Professor, I'm also happy that you're here at Hogwarts now. Kind of you to say. Speaking of time, perhaps yours would be best spent honing your defensive wand work. <laughs> yes, Professor. So, she says we can't time travel? Yeah, well, time turners are a thing, so. <laughs> but you can't go back that far. So, I guess she's kind of right. And there, I guess she is kind of right. No magic. <laughs> Don't get too cocky simply because you had one victory over Sallow. He never got <laughs> in the fight. God, I wish... Wish I could. I, w I wish I could take Ominous and Sebastian and Natty and Poppy. I, I wish I could take everybody with me on quests and stuff. That'd be so cool.
I think there's a mod for it, but I'm afraid it'd break stuff, you know? The only mods I have are just small mods that won't really, like, mess anything up. Because God forbid, if something happens to this place, they'll be sad. Now, look at that. Oh, that view's nice, isn't it? Wow. I'll have a lot of screenshots for this video. I just love walking around Hogwarts. Oh, Niffler. I can't wait to find a Niffler. I cannot wait. I can't wait, dude. Speaking of which, I need to go check on my pets. <laughs> I bet they're starving, dude. Hold on. On their brew, focus. Oh, yeah. We got some new gear. That's right. I forgot about that. Sorry. A golden silk robe. It's worse, but I can sell it for some money. Actually, Why can't I just chat the D? You know, say, how's it going, man? Ooh. Oh, yeah. Speaking of which, this is my small setup I got. I haven't tried that yet. <laughs> Ooh, I can't wait to get some. There's some food for you. Food for you. I come back. Some food for you. Can I play with them actually? Oh, it's a quaffle. Oh, somebody honking their horn outside. Somebody getting horny. Ah, oh, dog's barking. My bad. Oh! Get it, Mooncalf, go! Oh! Go get it! <laughs> Sorry, dog going crazy because of my talking. Let's play with it. Oh, we guard him with Yosa, I bet. We guard him with Come on, get the ball, get it. Yeet! Oh, <laughs> so cute, dude. Oh, I'm going to spend a lot of time in here. Get it. Now, wait. Let me just. Ready, go. Oh, we don't feel like playing. Oh. <laughs> Where's the puff skin ball? Ooh, a bogey. Ugh. Wingardium Leviosa. Ready? Here go. Ready? Go. <laughs> oh, look at him. Oh my god, Sonic. He's just rolling, rolling, rolling. Oh, no, that's awesome. What about the, the bird? Where is he? Yeah, where's Jobby? There you are. What's a ball for that? See if I can play with that. Get it. <laughs> Look at him go. Oh, we need a rest of momentum. Oh my God. Ready? Go get it! <laughs> nah, no, they went too far. Sorry, guys. Alright. Ready? Go get it! <laughs> okay. Well, I think now is a perfect time to end it. Oh, that's so adorable. Look at him go. Thank you guys for watching. <laughs> As always, any tips, advice, criticisms, etc. I appreciate it. Where I'm just, I'm still a beginner. Go get it. And I'll see you in the next episode. Next episode, I think I'm going to do some activities outside of Hogwarts this time. You know, do some side and do some side quests and stuff.
then the episode after that will be the that will be the big uh the main story episode so hope you enjoyed thanks for watching i'll see ya